talk about uh, another part of whole, you know the sweet spot in the midst. You understand? To see that there's like a a curve here. It's not just straight. So this one's designed. That's why there's a circle there. You know, because there's this the sweet spot. This is where they you want that they, they want to hit. So depending on what drill we're doing, like if I'm punching, you want to aim to catch the punch with this sweet spot. Okay, so it's like, imagine this is the real target. This, you know, if you punch here or here, you're gonna miss the target. So this is what you're doing. You're like catching the punches with the mitt. Catch, 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 catch. So it's not just the person that's punching, but it's important because you'll feel like a ball here. It's like you're, you're cupping it. And you want them to hit at that cup because that's gonna make the, the most solid hits. So you wanna catch all the punches like this. Okay, so when he's punching, you gotta position in a proper way so that it catches in a straight punch. Right here in the hook, you catch the hook. So then when they do the hook, it meets up with that catch. Okay, so when you're holding it, you can't just go like, you can't hold it like this. Because if you have your hands up like this, just have your hands up. And I'm trying to hook, but then you're holding it like this. You're not holding it at the right angle. That's like this. Like, you gotta, right here. See that? Yeah. So then when I punch, it catch, you catch it, and you put resistance coming back. Like, you put resistance. Like, more. Like, timing it. Like, if you punch here. See that? Yeah. You get this elbow up. Do it again. Just like that. So then, when I'm having this glove on, I'm just catching the hook. Okay, but don't curve it in, because if you curve it in, right, if I'm punching at you, you curve it in, you're, you're not hitting it. So that you, that's when you're hooking, you're kind of like, sometimes like this. But it's got to be straight across, and then you could come, then you could come down. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I'm catching your punch, and you got to hit across. Okay, that's a little better. So, just think of it like that. And then when we kick, you have to position it in the right way. Because sometimes, you're going to have to adjust to who's kicking. You want them to get a solid kick. Like you should hear it. Like when the kick is good, it's like pa, pa, pa. And when they kick over here or over here or here, it's not clean. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, sometimes you want to hold it higher to make sure that you're catching their kick. If they can't, if not that flexible, you might hold it a little lower. But this might be too low. It's like if I say, you know, hold it a little higher, then just up it up a little bit. And then try to like catch it, catch it. Like the foot has to meet up like this. Then it's gonna be clean. But if it's just off a little bit, and I end up kicking it like this, you know, it's not gonna be clean. So you need to like, notice why the curve is there. The foot fits perfectly right in that curve. And then when they kick, no matter if they're doing a front kick or a side or a hook kick or a roundhouse, you want to catch it on that curve. Okay? So, like say you do a hook kick right now with the right leg forward. So you want to try to. Yeah, right there. That was off. Right there. Like that, right there. Sometimes it's off, sometimes it's not, but you see what I'm talking about? You want to try to aim to get it at that sweet spot. So you have the right leg forward, so you want to have proper body positioning too. So say I'm not going to kick that high, so I kick right here. So my aim is to get it right there. And you want to aim to, to help me do that. You know what I'm saying? You're not working against me, you're trying to work with me. You're trying to give me a target, a solid target. You want to time it. When I get up there, pop it. And my goal is to make a really nice, clean kick, okay? That was pretty good. That was not good. That was good. That was good. That was, good. That was really good right there. That was good.
so there was some good ones in there, and then some of them were off, right? Yeah. Now, if you start holding it higher, then it's going to be harder. If I'm not ready to get that high, then it's not going to be clean. But then I'll be making contact like here, and then we'll then we'll decide let's lower it up. You know what I'm saying? So it depends on how flexible they are. So if you're doing it with other people, sometimes you might have to come down like this. You know, the people that aren't that flexible, you hold it like this. So you give them a good kick. If you're a little more flexible, you hold it like this. If people are really flexible, then you just hold it up to where they can be. And also, you probably want to hold it down at a little angle because this is not going to be, because the kick is coming from low to high. Mm -hmm. So this allows it to be caught. But if you hold it like this, it's, it's just going to, it's not going to be clean. It's just going to rub up like that. Okay? Yeah. So, just keep that in mind when we're holding it. And also for the future too.